<laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to Podcast, Podcast on Madrasah Let's open your mind Yeah, give a close Okay, my name is Kusha As the presenter of journalistic team on Siazan One Party Today I'm so happy because I get a brilliant chance to sit with and talk with a beautiful woman who is sitting for me now. She is Miss Yasmin. Give a applause. <laughs> Hello Miss, good morning. Nice to meet you. How are you today? Hello, nice to meet you too. I'm very good. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for asking. And you? Um, Alhamdulillah, I'm very good today. Alhamdulillah. Um, before we start our podcast today, could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Miss Jasmine Abji. I'm 25 years old. I come from France. I live in a little city mm. named Marseille in the south of France. And I'm still a student. I study international relations mm. in France. Okay, I hear that you have visited 23 countries in the world, right? Yeah. So, what do you feel at first time when you come here? Is it your first time coming to Indonesia? Yeah, it's my first time coming in Indonesia and actually I feel so so good and very happy and grateful to be here because the people are very nice, very welcoming. So, do you have culture shock happen especially in Indonesia? Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. What is that? Can you about, tell? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. About the weather first. About the weather. Hmm. Yeah, because the weather is very hot here in Indonesia. And also about the food. Food is very different. Oh. Yeah, yeah. In France and here food is very different. So, yeah. What is the difference for Indonesia and France? Uh, actually, in Indonesia, you are used to eat a lot of rice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and in France, it's bread. I used to eat a lot of bread, so I'm not like used to eat a lot of rice like in the breakfast, mm. at the dinner, so <laughs> for me it was a little, yeah, yeah. little shock, yeah. <laughs> By the way, how is your Ramadan vibes in this year in Indonesia? Oh, I'm so happy, you know, like at the beginning I was very scared because it's my first Ramadan far away my family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I was very scared to spend my Ramadan far away, my family, and finally I found here in Indonesia kindness, welcoming people, so alhamdulillah everything is perfect actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm very grateful to be here and to try this new experience, you know, yeah, it's amazing. So yeah. this is great for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we really feel the vibe of Ramadan here in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the difference between Ramadan in Indonesia and in France? Actually, there is a big difference because France is not a Muslim country. Mm-hmm. So here in Indonesia, you are so lucky because you can, for example, kill the Eden. Oh, yeah, yeah. But in France, uh, we, are, we don't have this chance actually. So how do you know uh, time for iftar? Uh, with the, the application in our mm-hmm. phone. Uh, yeah. We use this and also here you have so many messages mm-hmm. in France. It's not like this, we just have, for example in my city, not much than 10 masjids in my city. And mm-hmm. This is a big city, yeah. but just maybe 10 masjids, <laughs> you know, maybe. Five or seven. Yeah. Even for for your home, uh, it's about maybe twenty minutes by car. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here in Indonesia, it's like all the <laughs> one hundred meters you can find the masjid. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's very different. I mean, because here we feel like the Ramadan vibe. We feel like Islam, you know. But in France. We don't feel our religion, we can't practice our religion like in Indonesia, so it's like different. Yeah. Okay, so where, what are the things that makes you memorable in Ramadan this year or uh, last year? The things, I mean it's a big difference because all my year, years I spent Ramadan in France, especially uh, just except one year I was in Morocco. Oh, in Morocco. Yeah, also. And for me, all the Ramadan I spent in Muslim countries is very different, you know, mm. different, you know, from France. So yeah, actually, Ramadan in Indonesia it's amazing because it's it's all about religion, it's all about family. It's yeah, it's very different. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, okay. So, usually in Indonesia, when it's almost time to iftar, mm -hmm. we spend our time for searching takjil or straw. Do you know takjil? I know, what is it? Oh, takjil is like a free food or drinks are given fr freely on the side of the world. Takjil is very identical with Ramadan. So, do you usually do, what do you usually do in your country in your free time before iftar? Before iftar, I read Quran a lot. Yeah, I read Quran. I, oh. Yeah, yeah. I also um, try to memorize Quran. <coughs> yes, uh, this is our activities in France before iftar, and also we help our mother in the kitchen with the food. Mm. Yes, to prepare some food and yeah, this is our activities before iftar. So, does your country have the same things in, Ram uh, in Ramadan as in Indonesia? For example, we don't have this kind of activity to look for free mm -hmm. foods. What? No, and we have, <laughs> we have free foods, but I think it's not easy to find it like in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. I think in Indonesia it's part of the culture, so maybe if you want to have free food, you can just like hang out in the street and find free foods. But in France, it's not like this. Like if you want free food, you must go in the masjid and some NGO, they will prepare to you some food box if you, if you don't have food or if you can't cook food for you. Yeah, but it's not like part of culture to make food and to like give it in the street and to... Uh -huh. But in here, we, uh, we just do uh, searching Tajil and reading Holy Quran, same like with you. Um, so, do you know the student of Amtiazan Juan Fati is very happy for your arrival because in this year, Ramadan, we have special guests from abroad. Do you have a message, special message, special message for us, maybe about your Ramadan impression in here? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, actually, I want first to thank you, to thank all the students and the staff of the school for having me in this special month. Yeah. Um, I'm, I feel very lucky and grateful to be here with you and maybe my message to you is I will be very grateful if you can learn me more about your culture, more about like your, mm. your way of life during Ramadan and yes, if we can spend more time together, it will be great. What culture in Indonesia makes you interesting? Uh, actually, I, food. I want to know more about food, like about mm -hmm. special dish and, and also about like maybe dance because I, I saw that there are different dance in Indonesia about clothes, mm -hmm. like yeah, 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 but lots of things. Have you tried traditional Indonesian food in Indonesia? Yeah. yeah. What's that? You remember it? Actually, lot, a lot, lot of uh, food in Indonesia, but my favorite is martabak. Oh, martabak. Yeah. yeah. And also uh, nasi goreng. Oh, nasi goreng. And tempeh. Tempeh. Yeah. So, uh, so traditional. <laughs> so traditional. Tempeh. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> tempeh is my favorite. <laughs> tempeh. <laughs> There's my a smashed chicken too. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is um, my special question. Okay. I hear that you have visited in Palestine, and where is your favorite place in Palestine? My favorite place. Yeah. Oh, my favorite place in Palestine, of course, it's Al Aqsa Mosque. Yeah. You have visited in Al Aqsa Mosque. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can visit it. Yeah, when you're a tourist, you can. Yeah. What do you feel? It was amazing. It was amazing because there is the rock where the Prophet Muhammad did the Hijla, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the travel. So you can touch the rock and you feel a lot of like, you feel yourself very peaceful. It's, yeah, it's a place amazing. Calm. Yeah, calm. yeah calm. this place is wow, amazing. Yeah, so beautiful. Yeah. So, what are you doing there? 
Actually, I went in Palestine for a voluntary mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I teach some French to children there in a little village. What makes your heart wants to come in Palestine? What makes make my your heart? Oh, oh, actually, I always want to go to Palestine because I always like heard about the situation there. And I feel very curious since I'm a little girl, you know, I want to know more about the situation there. And, and just one day I tell to myself, okay, let's try. Let's try, go to visit them and spend time with them. And when I went there, I, I feel very shocked about the situation. Yeah. What's very your best uh, thing that memorable you about realizing you got Palestine? But oh. of condition in Palestine. Like the best memory, mm. the best memory was with family mm. and friends. It's all the people I met there and it's all our beautiful moments together, like eating mm. together, sharing moments, like also they were very kind and welcoming, like Indonesian people, so they took me to visit the places in the beautiful country of Palestine. So yeah, I mean, this is my favorite moment there with the local people, yeah. So you were so enjoying it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have beautiful memories of it. <laughs> so what's your next journey after uh, you come to here or maybe next country or next journey do you want to go? Yeah, actually after Indonesia, inshallah, I will visit Japan. Japan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go to Japan in July, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do you want to go? In July, yeah. Yeah, because actually it's a funny story because I met a girl in Semarang. Mm -hmm. Semarang? Yeah, and she's from Tokyo. Oh. And like, we, we enjoy our time together in Indonesia. And she told me, okay, come to my country, come to visit me. I will be your guide. And I said, yeah, okay, <laughs> I will come, no problem. So yes, in July, inshallah, I will go to visit Miku, my friends from Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, your friends uh, in Indonesia right now? No, she comes back to her country oh. in Tokyo, yes. She just come for voluntary mission also in Indonesia, about maybe three weeks, and then she, she left. Okay. Mm, do you have a message for yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thank you so much again for having me in your school. I'm very excited to know and to learn more about you. And I'm very, very also impressive about your, about your level of English. And I can't wait to share more moments with you and more experiences with you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Miss Yasmin. And Okay, guys, thank you so much for our podcast today. And thank you, Miss Yasmin. Thank Sorry, you. I've had to do something wrong. So, no, okay, guys. Okay. Today, uh, thanks for podcast for today. I hope it can be useful for us. Thank you for watching. See you. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.